we, we haven't talked about the salt line, which yes. is which I think is just one of the great achievements. Uh, you like the the story after after Camille and oh yeah, I've got to think about Katrina. Now. Well, that that's where <laughs> I'm. That's what I'm wondering about. How how different uh, is it to think about it after Katrina and after Camille? W well, are they Camille the same affected thing? me deeply because I a lot of my earliest. Uh, fun experiences and everything were on the coast. And when Camille, we were living in Montreal, and we saw it on TV, I would, oh no, it can't do that, it can't do that. Things being blown down and tossed about, and it just, uh, and then I was invited down to a literary conference about a year and a half after Camille, and I saw the destruction that had happened. And I thought, I'm, this has hurt me so much, I've got to write about it. Mm. So that's how it started. But I used to go down there from Montreal and hole up in a, I don't know, it was a Holiday Inn or some way and go to the library. And I knew a lot of people there then and read, read, read of reminiscences that were all stored in the library. Uh, just things that might have affected people deeply. They would print them in paper, you know, recollections. And then I had friends that had a lot of recollection of mm -hmm. the time. and, and it, I, I did kind of keep keep notes then in a journal and everything, and so I wouldn't forget. And then uh, a lot of it I didn't even use, <laughs> but a lot of it sort of became a sort of um, developed the story mm -hmm. and and the things that happened in it. And so I there's a wonderful uh, thing in the salt line that um, there's a character I'm trying to remember. I was just looking for it. I think his name is is it. Carrington, is that the? Arnie Carrington, yeah, he was, the, I guess, the central male figure. Okay, then the one who's shadowing him and, wa and wants to hurt him. Oh, uh, I is never could get rid of that girl. Yeah, <laughs> he kept turning up at Lex. Lex Graham. He worried me to death. He kept Sometime turning up Sometimes, if you places. cannot get rid of a character, you better go on and let him in. <laughs> and you know, the thing that's so cool about it is when I was reading that, um, I heard a friend talking about how. It's a vendetta character, and I never heard the phrase before. Uh. And he said, "There's another one in in Conrad's Victory, and it was a novel of Conrad's that I had never, I hadn't read." Oh yeah, that so that guy Victory. that yeah, uh -huh, yeah, that, uh -huh. I can't remember his name either now. But uh, anyway, that the it's like you, it's almost as if we're all working this ground of human, you know, uh, folly, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and there are these connections you get. That's the wonderful thing about reading books when you finally get to where you are, somebody that reads books and just, you know, the, the connections that you end up making and the things you see that, that uh, you know, like the, the fact that Styron's Lie Down in Darkness is a, is a straight riff on Robert Penn Warren's All the King's Men on the opening. The two openings are oh, coming Oh, they are, the just alike. Uh -huh. yeah. 